Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to map roads in Jossum. I'm going to try to go quickly over some of the basics. So, we see a road here. We could zoom in a little bit. And we'll start drawing the road by hitting the Draw Nodes button. Or we could just click the A shortcut and click once for the first vertex and then click more to add these vertices or nodes and you want to add the right balance of nodes you don't have to add as much on the straight parts of the road but usually you can introduce more uh, in curves represent the curves better and then if you're going to edge your screen you could just hold down um, your primary button and drag drag around and then continue drawing uh, also if you run into intersecting roads you want the nodes to connect to each other and if you're close enough to the node it should automatically connect to it otherwise known as snapping and then let's see let's connect here and let's just end here for now if you double click in the end it'll end your line otherwise known as a way in OpenStreetMap but your way isn't tagged yet to add a tag I usually go in my tags window and click on the add button and then you add a key and value for highways. The key is always highway and it auto completes. And then you have to select your highway type. And this, you have different options. Uh, for now, let's call this a tertiary classification and press OK. And then you could stop there. In some cases, you might want to add additional tags. For example, you could add another tag which describes a surface using surface as the key. And you could do paved is, is an unpaved are, are two valid values you could choose. Um, if you want to deselect this road, you could click on the select button or press S and click on open space and you deselected the road um, you could always select back on it if you want to so congratulations you drew your first road and if you made a mistake you could easily undo by pressing the undo button or control Z and it'll get rid of your tags and then start going backwards how you drew it. You could also easily redo it as well and go back where you started from and get those tags back in. Okay, so let's say that you know you have a road and you want to sort of move a node around. You could do that easily by clicking and dragging. You also see these little plus symbols in between two nodes and these are easy way this is an easy way to add extra nodes. If you just click and drag you'll now have an extra node and then you'll have two more plus symbols that you could click and drag. Um, if you added too many, you could easily click on an individual node, press delete, and get rid of it. If you have two nodes which are snapped to each other, if you click and drag it, you, you sort of drag both roads, which in this case, I want to drag it up a little bit to the north here. And then one, I want to sort of add more vertices here. Okay, 
if you're um, drawing a road, you could easily continue it. You could click on the last road, press A, and continue drawing it. Uh, this sort of seems like a, like a bridge here, so you would, in this case, um, sort of add an extra bridge tag and, and split the road in these two uh, spans. Um, it might be a culvert, but let's say it's a it's a bridge. So, uh, so yeah, the first lesson we have is how to split a road. You click on the node where you want to split it, and then in your tools menu you see their split way, or P, lowercase P. So you could split it. Now you select both sides and you see that there are two. Now I'm going to split it at the other end. Just press P. So it's split now and then I'll split this other span here. P, P. And then basically for the bridges you would add another tag, a bridge tag, and say yes, the value is yes and then add another bridge tag with the value yes, but it's already pre-selected because that was the last uh, tag I added. Okay, um, if you split roads, you could also um, combine roads. Okay. Let's draw another road here. And we'll connect it to this existing road. Now to combine them, you could just press select, hold down shift, click on both roads, and then in tools, you'd go to combine way or press C, and you would combine the two roads. One thing to note is that a road can be one way, and if it is, then these directional arrows matter that would be the way the direction of the road is and um, you know you could always reverse the direction by clicking reverse ways and if you were to combine a road then um, when you combine them you might have to make a decision what direction they should go or if the two roads had different tags you might have to make a decision which tags stay and which ones don't Okay, let's go over another situation that comes up. Is sometimes you may have a building and someone accidentally has it connected to a road. See right here, if you move the node, both the building and the road uh, gets moved. So to fix this, you want to unglue uh, th these ways from each other. So select the the nodes which are um, or the node which is glued and go to tools and uh, go to unglue ways or just press G and then you could move the node away okay more tips you could select a road and if you drag you could actually drag the whole road but usually you probably don't want to do this uh, if you do, it'll, it will most likely give you a warning that you're moving a large number of elements and it might be an error. So you could move them or undo the move. Okay. Uh, you could also split a road again. Uh, again, we'll select the vertex, press P. So now these are two separate roads, but if I try to drag this this vertex, it still will move uh, both both roads because they're glued. So again, you have to unglue it by pressing G, and then you could move that part of the road. Okay, and the final thing for this segment, for the last segment, is. You could continue a road, and sometimes if there's a building or another object nearby, uh, your cursor might try to snap to it. And 
if the building is actually in the correct space to prevent that from happening if you hold down your control button uh, you could get very close to a node but it won't actually snap which is nice for those tight spots We combine these again and we're good to go. And now for the last segment. Also, you may have, um, you may see other roads which aren't that well drawn. And one way of fixing them is, you know, just moving the vertices, adding new ones, which works pretty well. Um, I'm gonna undo this. But another way which may save you time is the improve way accuracy tool so if you go to your left hand pane you'll see it um, or you could press w but essentially you click the button then you could click a road and then it turns on so it, you see these little uh, dashed lines in between two nodes and it basically will uh, realign an existing node for you which is useful uh, you could right click and pan down if you want to and you keep on doing this and let's say you wanted to get more detailed and instead of just moving a node let's say you didn't want to just move a node I'm going to undo this but instead if you hold down the control button it will actually let you draw a new node And then when you get down here, you could just move the existing node, for instance. So this is really nice. I'm going to select this one again and press W. And then, you know, you could easily add new nodes. Also just, uh, you know, move nodes as well. So it's a nice little balance here. Okay, and that wraps it up. Good luck editing.